It means so many different things to different people and that's what came out in the session. We did a, a, a brainstorm and we must have had 200 different, different words, words appear yeah. on, in the session. Yeah, yeah. And trying to distill that down into a few principles is, can be quite tough. And what we've tried to do is think about it as being three things. Three. Three yes. things. Three the things. first being a fresh way of thinking. So thinking about things differently. So it's not about doing the same old things, but with some new technology, fresh ideas. Right? So think about it in a new way. The second one is focusing on the experience, processes, and the business model. And then finally, think about value business add. And business impact. And business impact. Yeah, yeah. So that's what really makes the digital transformation. When you bring those things together with some technology, you get something that is transformational. Yeah. In our research, 70% mm -hmm. of people are in, in progress of digital transformation now. In reality, we actually don't really know what success looks like yet because nobody's finished. Do you ever complete a transformation? You might go through an intense phase and then plateau, but it's probably something that you never really end. And, and it's important because there are so many significant changes that are happening in industries. And if you look back probably over the last 10 years, there are names that used to be commonplace, Kodak, Blockbuster Video. I remember going down to Blockbuster Video on a Friday, Friday night, Saturday, Friday yeah. night yeah. hunting around for a film that was actually in stock. Now, Blockbuster had, I think it was about three or four opportunities to buy Netflix. And this is why transformation, thinking about how you apply innovative technologies to your business is so important because you're not keeping pace, then you're history. You, yeah, you've gone. And I think that's the same for learning departments as well. Sometimes we're focusing just on the technology instead of thinking about a, a mindset change. So, yeah, we, I think those are some of the things we, we may be starting at the wrong point. We're not looking at the what the business drivers are, what, what is the business doing, and we're just focusing on what next piece of kit can we actually buy to mm. help us, and think that once we've got it, it's sorted, um, and that's not the, that's the, that's the stumbling block really for organisations, I think. Yeah, not to be wooed by the technology, yeah. focus on the need and the audience and the personas, the workers that you're trying to support. Being agile as well is one of the mm. things that on the, one of the models with, uh, we've been looking yeah. at. It's you know the agility of somebody to respond quickly to whoever they consider their customer to be. Mm. Um, in the same way as business needs to be doing that, L&D departments need to be um, very agile and changing and have the ability to change. Yeah. I think it's really interesting because we did some research last year um, around um, talent for the modern workforce. And one of the things that came out of that is because of the speed of business, the amount of change that's going on, but actually one of the top reasons um, or drivers behind people needing to learn is actually just keeping up the speed of change. Mm. And it, it's a massive thing. There's so much change going on. If you look at different organizations, many of them are moving to agile processes. They're starting to release products every month. So the challenge, the speeding up a business is real and l needs to keep up. It can't be behind and that's why it's probably so important. Thank you.